Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video, and this will be a different video than usual. Usually we do Gorilla Tag montages, but today I figured why not show them how I make my montages. So yeah, let's get right into that. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is go in and open up Google Chrome. And then from there, you want to go to a website called DaVinci Resolve. It'll be this one. Oops. It'll be this one right here. Um, you want to scroll down, click free download now, and whatever you run your processors on, Mac, Windows, or Linux, download one of those, whatever your computer is. And once that's installed, you should just have something that looks like this. It's the installer, and then you run that, and then you'll get this. And this is DaVinci Resolve. You're just going to double click on this. And it's going to load up this, so this might take a minute, so I will cut back when this is done loading. Okay, so now that it's done loading, we want to create a new project, and we can name the project whatever we want. We can name it Gorilla Tag Montage 2012, or whatever I typed in. I don't really care. We can rename it later on. And once that's made, you're going to have this. Now, one thing you're going to want to do is get your video file. So I'll scroll down in your file explorer to Quest 2, double click on external shared storage, double click on Oculus, double click on video shots, and find whatever video you want. You're probably going to want the newest video, so look through the dates. It'll show 2022 607, so that's the last time I recorded, and that is June 7th of 2022. So I'm going to drag that to my second monitor, and since it's already there and on my monitor, I don't have to do any of that. But usually it would just transfer right over. So we're going to drag that in now. And you're going to click change frame rate because we can optimize it later on. And drag it into here. So this is the most time consuming part because you got to look through the video and cut out what clips you think will fit best into your montage. So I'm going to speed up this clip and get out all the clips I need. So I will be right back. Okay, so now that we got all the cuts done, we want to go into here and you might say, well, what about these black bars on the side? Don't you want to get rid of them? Well, yes. What we can do is we can go to the very end of the clip, drag all the way down, and go into here and search up blinking. Or go into open effects and search up blinking fill and drag it on. This will fill every single clip that's selected the blanking fill, and then we have the nice sidebars that make the video look full screen when it's actually still only half the screen. And then we want to add an intro, so let's again drag every drag this across everything to select everything, drag this over, and for me I'd use something called jitter, so we go into titles and so the show. Jitter. For me, I have all this already favorited down here. That's a quick tip is favorite like blank and fill, jitter, and if you're using some transitions, favorite those or whatever title you really like. If you go into titles, just accept this. There's so many different titles you can use. There's glitch titles, there's box titles, and these all come with it all for free. I just like the jitter title because I think it looks the best. And then I would drag this to have it perfectly aligned. And then for here, I just type in the text, so TGT Sammy, and this will be the intro, so it just goes like that. It stays for a couple seconds, it's only five seconds long, and then it goes right into the video. So next, we want to add an outro, so we'll go to the end of the video. And for this, I just use the basic text, no special text or anything. It doesn't really need a special text, it makes it easier to read. I think people will just enjoy it more. So. I would drag this here. I would probably say each text box would be about that long. I will drag this in. See, this is about two seconds, um, about a second long. So probably not long enough. So let's use our arrow keys and go down a little bit. Um, right there should be about good. It's about two seconds probably. Copy that, paste it, and go into this one. Type in um hope you enjoy the video 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 
I spit my typing's all messed up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Exclamation point. Then here I type in make sure without the capital. Make sure join the Discord. The description. Exclamation point. And if you want to spell check any of this, just go into Google and spell check it. Um. Next, you want. Actually, I'm kind of curious if I even spelled this right. So let's just. Yep, um, that's all spelled correctly. So yeah, we got lucky. <laughs> uh, um, that's kind of sad. Okay. Um, now the video is two minutes and four seconds long. So we want to add some music in, and this is the probably the funnest part of this all. So let's just go to Spotify and search up. The, once Spotify actually loads, I uh, go to search, go to pop songs of 2020, two, not 2020, 2022. And for me, I'd have to look for a song that's not explicit because my song, my, not my song, my channel is family friendly. So let's find a song. Um, hmm. Actually, what I would do also is say this is a song that I like and I want to listen to. I would use that song. So, um, for instance, I like the song Fly Day Chinatown. So, I would go to Google and I would search up Fly Day Chinatown um, by Evade from this so then this is would be the song we can mute that before it blasts you guys' eardrums out and then i would copy this and i would go to i have all my youtube stuff for editing in a bookmark which is super useful but for me i would go to a website called um get mp3 all i gotta do is paste the link in i can select how much kilobytes i want it um maybe S ABPS, I think it's kilobytes. I don't really know. Don't make fun of me if it isn't. Um, then I would click download. Download. There's no ads or anything. I don't know if there is because I have an ad blocker, but I don't think there's any ads. So after that, just drag this aside, drag this in. You can also download an MP4 if you're trying to download a YouTube video. Um, then I would drag this underneath. And this is the fun part. Um, this is not the fun part. This is the easiest part. The length of the intro, you want to drag this little thing right here to the intro. So now it'll fade in like that. But if somebody says it's not playing, hmm, wait a second. Never mind, it isn't. Just my headset volume was at zero. Uh, don't make fun of me, please. Okay. Then you want to go to the end. And since this song is longer, since you can see by the audio levels, they go down. It shouldn't really matter too much. And you can go back to here, split, um, click backspace on this to delete it. And it's already fading out a little bit here, but we can still add the fade just to make it sound better in the final edit. And next, you want to highlight all these clips you also just got. Right click, click new combo. That ain't Falco! That ain't Falco! Instead of just this basic look, this is the fun part. You can go into here, then you can, this is the fusion tab. Um, you can go to effects. In effects, you want to search up soft glow. Drag it to the center. You'll see this all changes and looks kind of crazy. One thing you want to do is find a clip where your hand is in the clip, say like this, because this will help you actually visualize what it'll look like throughout the entire video. So for this, the threshold, you might look, oh, the background looks all crazy. I don't really want it like that. You can adjust the threshold to make it look however you want. You can make it look like basic real tag, or you can make it look like basic real tag with some glow. Now, that might be not might not be enough glow for you guys, so you want to add the gain a little bit higher. So for me, I would probably put it to 
around between three or four. And then I would adjust the glow size to probably like say 25. And now it'll have this glow. And if you watch like a little bit of the video, it'll be oh, you guys probably couldn't hear me because of the sound. But the hat and the hand will now be glowing while the map looks normal, but the sky is also glowing. This will just make your video look so much better in the final edit. And yeah, basically once you've done this and got done with all the glow and everything, your video is basically done. Like, unless you want to go add some effects and all that, you can do that. But this is just a Gorilla Tag montage video. It's not a Gorilla Tag funny clips video. So after this, you want to go into here. You want to go to, this is just the delivery tab. You want to go to custom. Underneath this, um, let's name this Fly Day China Town Gorilla Tide. I cannot, I cannot spell, okay. Books being homeschooled. <laughs> um, um, then you want to click browse. And I have a folder for all my stuff, so it'll default to go to this folder because I've exported to it so many times. But um, export to wherever you want. So for me, I go to YouTube, the vids, and I click save. After you've done that, you want to go to the resolution right here and put this all the way up to Ultra HD. It'll make the video so much better. Trust me. It might take longer to export, but unless you're not in a time crunch, it'll be so worth it. Then you want to go to advanced settings. Actually, no, you don't even go to advanced settings. Don't even worry about that. That's for a whole different video if you want to get into that. Um, go to every 30 frames, select this, and drag this to every 31 frames. This will just make it look smoother in the final edit. And click add to render queue. Add. Click render all. And yeah, this will take anywhere from one minute probably do an hour depending on your PC. If you've got a really good PC, it could take no time at all. If you got a really slow PC, it could take a little bit. But I will cut back when this is done exploit and yeah, then we'll go to the thumbnail. Okay, so now that the video is exported, what you want to do is go to your folder, you put it like exported it to and find the video. So for me, it's right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag this to our desktop. Um, well actually, you can also keep it in here, but I just like to have it on my desktop because it's just easy to find later. So I'm going to put that on my other monitor real quick. And next, actually, let's open that video up. And this is the fun part. This is where we get to make our thumbnail. So let's mute this so you guys don't have to um, get your, your, your eardrums blown out. And yeah, we're going to find a thumbnail. So let's just look for a part in the video where I am branching and it looks nice. So yeah, I think I saw one back here. Um, oops, that was a part of it. Um, let's just go ahead in the video. Maybe you find one that you're doing like a hospital clip where you're on walls or something that looks just eye-catching that some pe that people want to watch so like this this looks good for starting and we can make it better later on so next you want to open up snipping tool um you can then once the video is open click new on snipping tool and and you can snip out the part of the video you actually want i don't know if the video froze but if it did oops so then you can step out the part that you want and save it as something. Let's say um, video image. I said imagine. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, now that we have that there, we want to go into Google. And as I said before, I have this little folder. So we're going to go to Pixar Editor. All the links for all the stuff I use in this video will be in the description if you guys want to go down there and use these. Or you can use other programs, but I would highly suggest these programs. And once you have Pixar, go to Layout, go to YouTube Thumbnail, it's going to be this one. And then you want to drag the image in. So 
totally forgot. It's in my downloads folder. Um, gonna be this one. Write that in. It's gonna upload to here. Now, once it's in, just drag and drop that into here. Well, just click on it, really. Um, then you want to size this up. So size it up so it fits this entire screen. And so this is how you make it look full screen and not half screen. So once you have this here, um, I like to add this little like arrow thing. Just makes it look better, in my opinion. Um, the link for this will be in the description. I'll have a Google Drive with all the files you need, anywhere from DaVinci Resolve to this to just the stuff that you might want. Um, it, that'll be in the description if you want that. Or you can just use anything you really want to make your thumbnail. This is just how I make mine. And next you want to go to text. I kind of like this swipe up text. Um, you can really use any text you want. A lot of them are premium texts, but yeah, um, I like this text personally. So I don't know why they didn't go in. Just loading, I think. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Load. Okay. Well, that's loading, which I don't know why it's taking so long. We're just going to go and make this clip look better. It looks a little bit blurry right now for some reason. And that's probably because Gorilla Tech is not really the highest quality game. So we're going to click on this. We're going to click adjust. We're going to go down to details and we're going to higher the clarity all the way up to 100%. You can make it lower, but it doesn't really. I don't really think it really does anything at lower. Like it looks a little bit better, but this just looks better. And you guys also got to remember this will be from a farther perspective, like size down a lot. So this will look a lot better than it does now. And then you can just mess around with the brightness and shadows, adjust it however you want. Brightness, shadows, contrast, highlights. I think this looks good, so we're going to keep it at that. The arrows on the side, we don't really have to do anything to. We can just keep them stock. They look fine stock. And, um, yeah. Then you got to get the text in, which is still not loading, so let's just use a different text. Um, are you kidding me? Why is nothing loading? Uh, Load. Come on. Come on. Okay, so text doesn't want to load, so let's gonna refresh the page. Um on enable speed on music. Kidding me. I just remade the entire thumbnail and ah! Bro. Okay. We don't need text. It's fine guys. Um YouTube thumbnail. I don't know, just name it something random. Doesn't really matter. Um you can just close this out then. And just try the YouTube thumbnail too here. So now we got um, the thumbnail and the video. We're just gonna drag this back over to the other monitor. And basically everything's done now. All you really gotta do is just go to here, here, YouTube. Um, click this, click upload video. Um, drag, drag and drop the vid. Drag and drop the video in. Um. I have everything already preset, so all it just it already it's already gonna do the description for me. Um, really, all I gotta do now is just drag in the thumbnail, go to here, put in both these playlists. No, it's not made for kids. This lets me have thumbnail. This lets not thumbnail. This lets me have comments. You just don't restrict it to viewers over eighteen. It's pretty simple, and 
Then tags. Tags are actually the easiest thing. Um, I just copy this into here again. <laughs> Probably gone to this folder like 10 times today. Um, you click rapid. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Um, I use this thing called rapid tags. All you gotta do is copy and paste the title in, click enter, and voila, you got all the tags already made for the video, and you're killing me. There's no gorilla tag. Oh, you kidding me. Okay, we'll just keep whatever tags we want. So basically... What? Okay. Um... Just... Do that. Um... Basically, now just have like... That, um... Real... Real attack, um... Quest 2... Really just add like the main tags you think you might want. Um montage. I don't really know, just add whatever you want. Um the link for vidIQ and all that stuff you might want will also be down there, so yeah. If you want any of that, that'll be in the Google Drive as well. As everything else will be. Um so now we got all the nice amazing tags which only two of them actually go to Gorilla Tag, but that's besides the point. Um, usually it would add Gorilla Tag, but for my title, it didn't want to, so that's odd. But, yeah. Um, next, scroll down, add your game title, which is Gorilla Tag. Gorilla Tag. And video elements. We gotta wait for this to process, so... Yeah, let's just let that process real quick. Okay, so now that it's done processing, we can just go to video elements, click add cards, add channel, my channel, so go and subscribe, copy this, copy this there, click add card, click add video, add that, um, we're going to put this at the 30 second mark, I usually try to include three videos per video, I know that sounds kind of weird, but yeah. Um, yeah, so there's three videos, then click save, and then it has to finish checking. Um, we'll be right back again. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, it's been like 20 minutes, it's finally done. Thank you. Okay, now we can just, just, yeah, just don't worry about the copyright claim. Um, you can click see details in it. It's just, it's it's not affected on the channel. It's just ineligible for monetization. So, like, it's it's fine. Um, you just go to visibility. Click public, um, click, click schedule. Sorry, not. Uh, click schedule. Um, this will be uploaded for tomorrow. So, if you guys want to see the whole video, make sure to. Oh, wait, this isn't for tomorrow. No, this is for Wednesday. Oh, my brain is not working today. Okay. Guys, I'm done school for you, okay? I'm not trying to think about all this stuff right now. Okay, so this is for Wednesday. Um, If you guys want to see the whole video, it'll be out then. But, yeah, um, it'll be out at... Not AM. Oops. It'll be at... Are you kidding me? There we go. It'll be out at 3.30 p.m. Wednesday. Um... Yeah, just quick schedule. Um, boom, and yeah, we are done. If we go to content, after this takes like an hour to load, scheduled, it'll be uploaded Wednesday, 3.30 p.m. Make sure to check that out. And yeah, that's all. I got an hour of clips to go edit for this video, so I'm going to die. Uh, yeah. Bye.